Emblex identification information. Who are you? Can you prove it? Twice? Why is this important? Because at the testing site, you'll be required to present two pieces of ID. Without appropriate ID, you will not be allowed to test and you will forfeit your exam fee. What will you need? First, your primary ID that includes your photo, signature, and is not expired. Remember, your name must match your Emblex application. Accepted forms of primary ID include government-issued U.S. state or territory driver's license, government-issued U.S. state or territory identification card, government-issued passport or U.S. certificate of naturalization, alien registration card, green card, permanent resident visa, U.S. military identification card with signature. In addition to your primary ID, you will need to present a secondary ID that includes your signature, is not expired, and again your name must match the name on your Emblex application. Your secondary ID does not need to include your photo. Accepted forms of secondary ID include a U.S. Social Security card, your school ID as long as it has your signature on it, an employee work badge with a signature, your signed ATM card, debit card, or credit card. Any of the primary IDs can also be used as a secondary ID. The FSMTB wants you to have a successful Emblex experience and become a massage professional, so don't get caught in one of these common application mistakes that will result in your being turned away at the test center and forfeiting your application fee. These documents do not prove who you are. Please do not go to a testing site with your birth certificate, library card, or any other ID that does not meet the requirements for being a primary or secondary form of ID. You will be denied access. Have we said often enough that the name on your ID must match your Emblex application? So if your driver's license was issued to Robert, do not apply as Bobby. Your school ID is an acceptable form of ID, however, it must contain your signature. If it does not, you will be denied access and you will forfeit your exam fee. If you are denied access to the exam, you may reapply, but you will have to pay the exam fee again. Read the Candidate Handbook. We cannot stress enough how important it is to be aware of all the examination policies. The issue of identification is only one of the examination policies you need to be aware of. Ignorance is not an excuse. Make sure you have the appropriate forms of ID before you apply for the Emblex. Double check the accuracy of the spelling of your name on your authorization to test once you receive it. FSMTB is here to help. Contact us with your questions. We are user-friendly. Do not wait until the last minute to contact the FSMTB if you have any problems with your name or identification. Here is how you can find us. We will communicate with you mainly through email. For more information about ID, please see the Emblex Candidate Handbook, which can be easily downloaded for free from the FSMTB website at fsmtb.org.